Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Battle Buddies video. Now today's video is quite special as we are on the test realm today. And today I really want to do something different in this video. As you might be aware, what I normally do with Battle Buddies is show you the victories, show you the new updates, show you guys the new map, new skins, all the good stuff. But yes, there are also failed experiments, things that have never seen the light of days, the stuff that we don't talk about because they either didn't work or they were just playing up stupid. And today I want to go over some of the things in Battle Buddies Test Realm that are not available to the public and will most likely never be. Either because they were too complicated, caused too much lag or were just plain up stupid ideas. So welcome to Battle Buddies Scrapped Ideas. So the very first scrapped ID has something to do with Donnie. And I am actually really sad to scrap this idea because it is a legendary skin that we had in mind for Donnie. So in the buddy tab for Donnie and we go to skins, we have a legendary 2D Donnie skin. Of course, we didn't make the icon for it yet. And here he is, 2D Donnie. And I actually really like how he looks. He looks really cool, really awesome. So now you're probably wondering, wait, so if he looks so cool, if he looks so awesome, why was he scrapped? Well, that's because of a Roblox issue. Because if we turn the camera, yep, he's now walking backwards. And yes, and you know this. So I might want to revision him later. Like maybe find another way to get him in the game. But at this stage, it's just not possible. He also has a lot of shadow issues. Like now he's getting darker. Now he's getting lighter. It's really annoying. Really, uh, I don't know. Like it was a really fun idea. It just didn't really work out in like at the end. Which I'm actually pretty sad about. Because I would love to see what he does. And actually, I have actually never tried him in battle. So... <laughs> You know what? Why don't we just, you know, try him out in battle right now? Ouch. Yeah, there you go. Like, you can al also see that, like, because of the way how GY works in Roblox, he's also, you know, glitching through the barrier and it looks really, really weird. So, <laughs> uh, such a shame. I really hope I can find another way to add him in the game. But as of now, unfortunately, he will never make it in the real game. I'm sorry 2D Donny. I'm actually not gonna lie, I am pretty nervous to see how he looks. Oh, you can also see him in the background. Wait, wait. <laughs> it is actually quite a cute skin. It's just such a shame that he glitches so much. So let's spawn him and go. And yep, he's walking backwards. Ah, Like that's the only little issue because like it looks so cute in my opinion. We really have to find a way to make this work because I, I think it looks absolutely adorable. But for now, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. Another scrapped ID is with this little guy right here. And now you're probably thinking, uh, but, but Bowie, are you dumb? You added this to the game, that's Carlos. And yes, that is correct. But if we go to the buddy tab, we go to Donny, we will see that this icon is a key. And when we go to skins, you will actually see that Carlos is a separate skin and not the Donnie and Carlos skin. So when you wear this skin, you will only spawn Carlos. Now, why is this in the game? Well, originally we wanted to give out original Donnie and original Carlos as two separate skins for the testers. And at the end we decided you know what? It would be much more fun if you just spawn one of the two randomly. So yeah, that ID never make it to the light of day. Of course, the model make it in, the icon make it in, but just separately, never make it in the game. Now, before you get mad at me saying, bruh, that static skin is cool. Why are you not adding it? Don't worry about it. It will be added. 
In fact, when you see this video, there is a really big chance this skin is already in the game. But I thought it would be fun to let you guys see what the system does when there isn't an icon yet. Just for the fun of it. So when we go to static, we will see that the icon is literally the UV map. It's actually really, really funny. Like this is how all the skins are before they get the icon. And it is certainly something. It is certainly something. <laughs> I just really wanted you guys to see like what we are looking at like most of the time. Because like most of the time, all the icons are done at the very end. So we are looking at the UV map for like most of the time. That said, this skin is super awesome and it will be coming very soon. And it might also bring about a rework shortly after. But we'll have to see about that. This time we haven't arrived in the test realm. Well, not really. And as you can see, we got the cool alley map here. And it automatically plays Jane's animation. So this is the test world that I used to test Jane's animation. And uh, yeah, we can finally see it from a different angle. It's fully 3D. The portal is fully 3D. It's all an illusion to let you guys think that it's an actual 2D portal. And I think it looked, I, I think it turned out really cool. So yeah, that's the, uh, you know, that's the animation that we tested. But that is not the main reason why I wanted to come here. This guy is the main reason I wanted to come here. As you can see, we have a really weird animation from like a normal guy equipping a pumpkin. And now the logical question would be, why? So as you guys know, when you have the game pass, you see your character standing at the back of the stage. And originally, this was gonna be an exclusive emote that your character could do if you owned Pumpkin Wisp. Unfortunately, I had to scrap it just in case of time and I didn't like how the animation looked. So, unfortunately, it will never see the day. But what the cool thing is about this, I did add props as like something that you can have in animations. So maybe in the future, the characters at the background will have way, way, way more animations. So yeah, that was basically everything I have to show you guys. Of course, there are always some weird models that we made, weird textures, but that is generally not the stuff that we keep because it's like really minor things. Maybe an eye looks weird, maybe a leg looks weird. But like these features, I think like really gave you an insight on how we think, how we decide stuff and how we develop stuff. And I hoped you enjoy watching. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.